Now, your news on the go. The severe storms that rolled through our area yesterday put three people in the hospital. The construction workers struck by lightning while working on a roof in Madison County. All three men were taken to the hospital in critical condition. It happened at a home along Forbes Road in the town of Lincoln. The sheriff's office now reminding everyone not to be out in those conditions. The Red Cross helping two people this morning after a house fire in the Port City. The call going out along the 100 block of Westbridge Street in Oswego, right across from Tully's. Crews were able to quickly get it under control, but the home is badly damaged. There were no injuries, and the cause is under investigation. The fires don't stop there. The Syracuse Fire Department had a busy 24 hours. About this time yesterday, the department putting out back-to-back -back fires within one hour. And in the afternoon, they responded to a third fire. There were no injuries, but the Red Cross is helping more than a dozen people. Syracuse police are investigating a shooting on the city's south side. The call going out shortly before midnight on Bird Street, a few blocks from Dr. King Elementary. Syracuse police tell us a man in his 40s was shot in the foot. He was taken to upstate where he is expected to survive. Police also investigating a stabbing that delayed the opening of White Branch Library in the city. Just before 10 Sunday night, Syracuse police responded to an assault call at the branch on Butternut Street. Officers found a 43-year-old man stabbed in the midsection. He was taken to Upstate Hospital in serious condition. The Syracuse Safer Streets Community Gun Violence Prevention Initiative has been tabled by common counselors. City lawmakers were set to vote on the program that first proposed paying people affiliated with gangs. Counselors will not revisit it until the next voting session, August 14th. If approved, the program is slated to start in the fall. Common counselors did approve $200,000 in funding for the trauma response team. The eight-person squad works with families and victims providing violence prevention services. They say current funding is not enough. The city clerk says an increase in funds will be talked about at a later date. And lawmakers also voting on one of the city's biggest and oldest eyesores. The old Syracuse Developmental Center is now cleared to be demolished. A Long Island-based developer planning three phases. It includes four apartment buildings to be built on the site near the zoo. It's not quite an eyesore, but it certainly is eye-catching. SUNY Morrisville is opting for black turf over the traditional shade of green. The rebrand sparking a big buzz on social media, including international attention. An official ribbon-cutting celebration will be announced in the coming weeks. Bayheim's Army charges through their first game in the basketball tournament. The Q squad cruising past Team Gibson 99-83. They will now face the nerd team who knocked out Bayheim's Army in last year's TBT. Tip-off is tomorrow at 8. Speaking of scores, you could score big with the lotto tonight. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is a whopping $820 million. That comes out to about $422 million in cash. We'll have the winning numbers tonight on News Channel 9, 11 at 11. Well,